Hi, my name is Natalie, and this is Natalie Lawyer Chick. I'll be discussing popular topics through a legal lens. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, YouTube. My name is Natalie. I'm a criminal defense attorney. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. Um, so today's video is a suggestion that was sent to me by a viewer, and it's called Caught Driving Uninsured Car Benzino Claims I don't even drive this car, which, interesting. <laughs> anyway, um, I've never seen this video before. I think that this incident happened in 2019, so it's pretty old, and uh, this is my first time seeing it. So some of you guys might have seen it already. So let's get right into the video. Oh, and if in case you don't know, Benzino is a rapper. He was more famous in the early 2000s than he is now. He's kind of like an old head, like an older rapper at this point. Um, I don't really, I'm not really aware of any current music that he has out, but um, just he's an older rapper. Let's just put it that way. All right, let's get into the reaction. Understand? Did you know I'm pulling you over, right? You've come to a place stop on that stop sign. I, I thought I paused enough, but I didn't. I just kept seeing you roll. That's okay. Sometimes we don't realize. They... The reason for the stop is that he rolled through a stop sign. Allegedly, let's see. We're doing something. Um, is this vehicle in your name? I uh, guess. My name is Scott, and also, uh, uh, it's called Shot by Del Brown. Del Brown? Okay. Did you, did you guys just make a transaction? Did I just make a transaction? Did you just buy the vehicle? Uh, six months ago. Six months ago? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, can you do me a favor, Raymond? Do you, uh, can you come up with some proof of insurance for me, real quick? Uh, I don't have papers in here. Okay. Might be upstairs. Sure, okay, so we're already starting this out with him taking ownership of the vehicle, saying that the vehicle is in his name and co-signed by another person, and the officer asked him for proof of insurance. When someone is stopped in a traffic stop, they have an obligation to provide their license, registration, and insurance. I always counsel people to take a picture of your driver's license, take a picture of your insurance or have your app available, take a picture of your vehicle registration so that it's always on your phone in case for some reason you forget the paperwork. Okay. Give me one second, be right back. CIC says he doesn't have any insurance valid. At the time, he doesn't have a card on him. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead. I figure just write him a citation. He can deal with it later, you know? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm out in front of a park, or apartment complex. This guy lives here. He just ran a stop sign, so I pulled him over. And uh, as far as NCIC goes, he's not doesn't have valid insurance, or at least it states that in the bottom. I, I don't know what him being evicted from that place uh, later on in 2021 has to do with anything. Well, stick around. We're all about to find out why that's important. I was thinking about giving a warning and make sure he carries it on him. So if he does have valid insurance, or if I should just do, go ahead and just do a citation, let him deal with it at court. It just says no valid insurance. But this has been six months. I appreciate that this officer is um, radioing in probably to a superior or something and trying to find out whether or not he can just write the guy um, a warning instead of giving him a citation for failure to have insurance. Because it really is... Um, uh, a, it's a criminal offense, like under the traffic code. It's a criminal offense. In some places, it carries more than a fine. In some places, it carries actual jail time to drive around in a vehicle without insurance. So if he could just give him a warning so that he can get it fixed, you know, that would be that would be good. Um, if not, he gets a citation. He can take care of it in court. A lot of the times, if you come to court with proof that you've gotten your insurance, in the meantime, judges will be more lenient with you. Who do you uh, have insurance through right now, sir? Uh, it was, he had, well, now it, it's going through Geico. That was the last one. That was the last time. Geico. Was He's got it through Geico? I'm pretty sure he does, so yeah. Who's he? See, before you said it's your car, but that it was co-signed by somebody else. So... Now he's trying to distance himself because he knows there's no insurance on this car. And the officer knows that there's no insurance on this car, at least not an NCIC. So I don't even drive the car. I just took it across the street to get my groceries because I couldn't even walk. Like, you know what I'm saying? The car was parked there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Daryl goes in and out of town. He drives the car way more than me. 
No, I don't. But you both own it and you're using it. Like both of you have your names on it. You're using it right now for daily use, right? And so as both the registered owner of owners of these vehicles, whoever the title owner of, is of the vehicle, has an obligation to have insurance. Like I said, I just went across the street to Publix just to get the groceries. So this isn't your car? No, it's both of our car, but I hardly drive it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you know, I, I used to take an Uber to work. Yeah, well, you know, you're responsible for it when you drive it though, right? I understand, sir. I'm not, I'm not, this, I don't, I'm not, that's I'm what, not that, you no trucks. Okay, so, so Geico? It's in was Geico. It was Geico, yes. If you didn't know anything about the vehicle insurance, then why are you saying it was Geico? For everything you know, the vehicle is still insured. The officer never told him that the vehicle was uninsured. So it's, it's just, you know, it's clear that he knows a vehicle's not insured and he's trying to come up with reasons or put it on someone else. I definitely would not want to be a co-owner in a car with this guy. I understand, yes. He was supposed to be paying for the insurance. Okay. Give me one second. Yes, like I said, there's a law. You have to have insurance, valid insurance to drive the state of Georgia, right? You can't have this car on the uh, roadway. So let me give you the benefit of the doubt. Thank you, sir. But what I need I to know. No trouble. No, I'm sure you don't. Customer service. Insurance validation. So he's calling to Geico to check and see if this vehicle is insured by Geico. And again, it could be that he just got insurance yesterday. It's not popping up in NCIC. It's highly unlikely. Uh, usually it's going to be in the database. Yes. Yes. Customer service auto. How many, how many of us have can relate to sitting on the phone with an automated system and trying to get through to a human being and just screaming customer service over and over again. I hate speaking to those machines so much. Okay, actually, Jeanette, I'm a Brookhaven police officer in Brookhaven, Georgia. I've got a vehicle pulled over. He claims, hi, he's not, he doesn't have any insurance on him. Um, as far as the records go, the vehicle doesn't have insurance. I'm just trying to verify, so I'm going to have to get this guy's car towed. So you can help me out here. Well, I've got the current license plate. And I can give you guys the event. Okay, well. It's very nice of this officer to check. Sometimes they won't check, you know? And they don't really have to either because you have to drive around with proof of insurance and you'll just have to fight it out with the judge later. But sometimes they won't even check. Um, so he is nice for checking, but I'm almost certain that this vehicle is not insured because of the way that Benzino is talking. He says it's insured in somebody else's name. Um, let's see here. Let me, let me ask Mr. Scott, what would be the phone number associated with the account? I don't know. You don't know your friend's phone number? He's a liar. I mean, sometimes it's just good. Just take the ticket. He's right outside of his house. Maybe ask if he can park the car legally. And because sometimes they will tow the car, but uh, you know, ask if you can park the car legally and just say, I'm sorry, and give me my citation. And he's just dragging this out unnecessarily. You know, you would know the number that's on the insurance for the car that you co own with somebody else. Your phone's right there in front of you, or right on top, right there on your dash. Yep. Six four six and one. What's the name? His name is Daryl Brown. Daryl Brown. That's in New York. That's in New York. That's a New York number. That's a six four six number. You're saying he lives in New York, but the car is insured in his name. That's really weird. It's really weird. Unless you can't afford insurance on your own, and that's fine if that's the case. Everyone has financial issues from time to time. It happens, you know. But I'm just saying, like just don't <laughs> just just take the ticket take the ticket don't say anything else here's the thing i always say for clients to just remain silent that's always the best course of action but do not lie because the lies will be used against you later just remain silent he doesn't you know have insurance that's okay do you have proof of insurance with you no i do not and then um when it comes to knowingly being uninsured i would prefer not to say anything officer i don't have proof of insurance the, the officer will write you a ticket, maybe they'll tow the car, and then you'll just have to deal with the consequences from there. 
Raymond, or I'm sorry, Raymond Edward Scott. Raymond Edward Scott. I'm just getting verification that this vehicle's insured. No, it's, yeah. No, you're okay. Georgia. He says he lives in New York, but the vehicle, he goes back and forth. Well, he might still keep it in New York, but like I said, I just need to verify the vehicle. Well, that's what he's saying. That's the difficulty of this because I guess it's the guy's vehicle, but he's he's utilizing it. So I guess Mr. Brown comes back and forth. Thank you, Ted Jack. Um, okay, Mr. Brown's policy is expired, sir. On this car? It's all, all of them. All On this car? What what other car are we talking about, sir? <laughs> On this car? Yeah, but they're all canceled. That's my point. I don't think this one's canceled, so to be honest with you, I don't know. Well, you can think that, but you're giving me information. Now I'm going off the information. Well, I understand. I understand. So that's all I can do. But I'm not asking you anything other than just give me information so I can help you out. So I still have to do my job. I understand. Okay. What's that? Well, you said it's in. It's, well, I got his driver's license number, but it's his. He's not on the policy. I guess this is Buddy's car. It's his Buddy's uh, insurance policy. And that's the thing. If the vehicle is registered to, registered to someone else, he's saying he's the co-signer, but maybe it's not even his car. If the vehicle is registered to someone else, then it's that person's responsibility to insure the vehicle. Just literally take the ticket and bring the proof of registration to court and the, the charge would be dismissed against him because he's not the registered uh, owner of the vehicle, even if he's using it. So in the eyes of the law, he's not tasked with being the one that has to insure the vehicle. Um, but all this other stuff that he's doing is like kind of strange to me. Why are you giving all this information that is clearly false, you know? Uh -huh. If you're not lying, why would you do that if you're not lying, if it's not your car and you know it's not insured and you're just using some other guy's name? He's not on his policy anywhere? Okay, I can give you his license number if it helps. It's uh, zero foot, and that's Georgia. Yep. So, Thank you to whoever edited this video. Okay. Was well, this policy? Was this? Can you answer this? Was Mr. Scott's policy with an Acura? Okay. Well, regardless. Okay. Two six to check. I'm start running right around my location. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. So he also had a policy with with Geico. Looks like on a different car, and and that's expired as well. No, ma'am. No, me too. I want to help this guy out, but I appreciate it. Thanks. He did. He did want to help him out. I could tell that he did. Okay, bye. We'll definitely get down to the bottom of it in the morning. Yeah, but unfortunately, sir, in the meantime, I'm gonna to have to have this vehicle towed. Fair insurance. But the only reason I, it pops up on NCIC, so the last time, uh, so obviously when your insurance expired on this, yes. they sent it straight to the state of Georgia, and then Georgia puts it out there. All right, so then to get it back, what has to happen? Well, the vehicle's going to go to Brandon Brown, but you guys need to get insurance policy for this reestablished. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Then you go to Brand down to Brandon Brown in Chamblee and pick it up. That's exactly how it is in my state if they're going to tow your vehicle for like expired tags or uh, lack of insurance or whatever the case may be, all that you have to do is get the proof of the insurance and then, and or, you know, fresh tags or whatever, and you can get your car back. It's not cheap, but it's not the seizure of your vehicle forever and ever. I, so, okay. What I can't do is just stand by. Uh, let me finish up and I'll get you on your way. But the so vehicle has to stay here. Thank you. I think they'll give me a big ticket. Oh, I'm getting you a ticket for failure to have insurance. I have to justify the fact that of what you did. So pay very close attention to what that officer just said because it's going to be relevant for some things that you're going to see later. So Benzino was scheduled to have court for that traffic stop regarding the insurance case, driving uninsured, and he failed to appear in court for that traffic stop.
I know what's going on. Well, okay. Well, as soon as I pulled up right here to drop my son off, he just he just runs my tag and he says I was blocking the street. Yeah, we're allowed to run your tag. No, but I'm saying, what what did I do wrong to run my tag? It, they don't need. A, it's a really good question, and it, I know it's like frustrating because I've had clients be frustrated by it. They do not need reasonable articulable suspicion to run your license plate because it's free to the public to see. Everyone can see your license plate. They can run any information they can see in the public. So by law, we can run your tag no matter what. Okay, tag. Oh, okay, okay, all right. And no I'll problem. explain it to you, okay? I don't know if you did, okay? No, no problem. So, I, didn't, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't okay. know that I could just be harassed for any old reason. Okay, and let me, let me explain it to you, okay? Tags are public records. So we can run them. I pulled over right over there. Can I explain, can I explain to something you? to you? Where were you parked? I didn't park. I pulled over to drop my son off. I live right here. Okay, where did you pull over? I pulled over right here. Okay, now listen, no listen. Space. No matter what, if we run your tag, it has a wanted hit on you. Now listen, listen to me. What we do, it's not out of us. We're just law enforcement, okay? But I didn't listen do to me. Listen to me. I'm not this raising my I voice. I'm not, okay. Okay. I didn't do anything. I did you get a ticket back in the day with Brooke Did you get a ticket with us and you didn't go to court or pay it? That's what it is. You either, if we're driving an insured, is a must appear traffic citation, meaning they're going to set in a court date for you and you either have to pay the citation or appear in court in order to fight it. One or the other. If you don't, you get a warrant for your arrest. What kind of ticket please, so they only say a ticket. I don't know what ticket it was. I don't know. Now, this is what we do, okay? We confirm it. Sometimes, if it's in the system and it's old, they'll just cancel it. They're like, no, it's not good no more. Okay, so, listen. He's going to confirm it, okay? I live here and it's like I'm getting harassed. Like, we're not harassing you, okay? Listen. Yeah, Benzino, it's not because you're black. It's because you failed to appear in court for your driving uninsured charge. And saying that you're black and that that's the reason they're harassing you is not going to help you to get out of it. It's so annoying. Oh, it does man. not matter your color. Man. If you got a wanted hit, it's a wanted hit, okay? It is for something. It's a wanted hit on your person. Okay? He had no reason to run my tag. He does. Okay. For what? for what? Literally for this reason. You're. Uh, it's it's a community caretaking function it's a community safety issue like for example um you don't want someone driving around on a, on a suspended license you have now let me know you know that i'm suspended so i can take care of it what if you were wanted not for a traffic citation but for a violent offense right and this guy is on the loose and there's a warrant out for his arrest and you run the information and oh my goodness there he is and it's just that the information is public. Everyone can see it. If I, if I saw your license plate on your car, I could plug it into Google and see what comes up. And that would not be any violation of your privacy because you have no expectation of privacy in something that is facing out to the public like your license plate is. We can run your tag. For it's what? public. What's the reason? I'm just asking her the reason, sir. Like I'm just saying, asking the question. When they do confirm the ticket, he gets way worse. Fucking racist bastard, I didn't do nothing. And I swear to God, if that ticket ain't valid, I'm gonna sue your fucking cocksucker ass. Because I didn't do shit. Okay, can you put your yeah, fuck in? you. Sorry, fuck you. Can you put your fuck you. Fuck you. You fucking bastard. Fuck you, you chink bastard. Fuck you. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do shit. Hold on, I didn't do shit. And that fucking warrant better be right. It better be valid. First of all, put the AC on. Uh, put the AC on. The AC is on, okay. sir. Okay, okay. Hey, here we go. Be respectful. Respectful, y'all, sir. Hey, sir, I don't want to blow the window up if you don't be respectful, sir. No, first of all, what is the fucking ticket for? Tell me that. Will you calm down? Are you going to calm down so I can get the uh, look at it? That's the question. I need to know what the ticket's for. Chill out for what? I'm in the fucking back of a car for some bullshit. This is some fucking crazy shit, man. For what? I've never even been pulled over by okay, police. I'm gonna have her. Uh, I'm gonna have her email me tickets. Yeah, I can't pull it. When? What you mean? How come she can't email your fucking tickets? Sir, this is a warrant hit right here. All right, but where's the ticket? You better be right, you cocksucker. You better be right. You better be right. You better be right. It's coming. Yeah, you fucking Bitch, you better be right. You better be right. Pussy motherfucker. You better be right. Bitch, you better be right. Fucking assholes. You better be right. Then fuck 
you. You want this window up? Please. Okay. Can you put the AC on? I'm hot. The AC's on. No, it's not. You even got the car wrong. The AC's on all the way on. No. You hear that? that it was going to be important that the officer said that he was definitely giving him a ticket. Now Benzino is saying he only got a warning. Well, listen to this. Oh, I'm giving you a ticket for failure to have insurance. I have to justify the fact that of what you did. Very respectful, so she get fired for you. Hey, fuck you. This is So they give homeboy the opportunity to go and get the warning, but he doesn't avail himself of that. Instead, he chooses to be even more abusive and racist. It's a warning. I got it upstairs. They made a mistake. Go get a warning. Let me go get Come on. No, he, she had to go get it. Oh, hey, listen. I'm going to sue your fucking cock at you, chick bastard. I'm going to sue you. Oh, you fucked up, bitch. It's a warning, you asshole. It's never a warning. It's a warning. I don't know. It what is a warning. It's all right. Take me. Let's go. Take me. Take me. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, allowing a person driving without insurance. He continues to hurl racial abuse at the officer. And he had a lot of really nasty things to say to the female officer as well. And then he was arrested and continued his tirade on the way down to the jailhouse. You guys don't need to hear all that. It's just so nasty and bad. But I'll post the original video in the description box down below. They're going to take him to jail. And that's exactly where he needed to go. Well, I thought I was done with filming this video. And I was starting to edit and going through and looking for some clips on Benzino rapping. And I can barely find any of those. Um, but I can find video of him actually being evicted. So the previous person who, the person who edited the first video that I was reacting to, uh, put in some information about him being evicted from that apartment. And I was like, why does that matter? Well, he acted, he acted a fool basically when he was evicted and it's also on body camera. So let's react to that. <laughs> She's condescending and rude. If that's not the pot calling the kettle black, I don't know what is. Okay, so so when I come in here to ask for information, she starts yelling at me, and then I mean this has been going on for a while. Nobody. 
what does her not being liked have to do with the police officers being there? As soon as somebody gives her back what she gives, then, then, then she calls police. Black lives matter. She's just not going to think that I'm just a criminal. I live here. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's so manipulative. <laughs> He's so manipulative. What are you talking about, sir? You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be abused. I'm not going to be disrespected by anybody. If you can't pay your rent, just say that. And that's fine. It's nothing. It, and that's... It's, uh, how much money you have does not matter. What matters is carrying yourself with dignity. Like, I didn't come here. I don't know. Ashley knows me. They know me. I don't stop problems with nobody. Yeah. And then, because Lindsay's a little white lady, and she calls, and I'm the black guy with tattoos, and that's the thing that this is the thing we got going. Oh, no, no. No, no. All right, what do you want? I want her. I, I need her. You know, she, she never emailed me her, um, her, her manager number, supervisor number. I want to talk to them. And I need to what is it? If you have been evicted, then that is a matter with the attorneys, not the property manager. That's who you really need to be speaking to. Leave that lady alone. Complain about her, and she's not giving me the information I want. So does she have an email address? Yes, and I haven't got it yet. Okay. I've been mean, asking for the last two hours. Let me see where she's at, and then when he emails, he can get your information, all right? Yes. Oh no. Okay, all right. Understand something. Obviously, whatever he got going on, he's in desperation mode. History. Yes. He's in desperation mode, right? He is trying to find a way out of getting out of being evicted. These personal attacks have nothing to do with the people that he's attacking. He's just not ready to face what's happening, which is you're being evicted. Being evicted is is traumatic, right? You um, are home insecure. That's scary. And clearly, you don't have the funds to be able to secure yourself a new place to live or else you would have been able to pay your rent. Um, that does not mean you get to abuse people um, and make their day hell. That, you know, it's completely unacceptable. Listen, listen. He's in desperation mode, okay? All right. He knows he's, he's in the eviction process, all right? Don't let him get you upset. It's not worth it, okay? I asked him what he want from you. We sent him an email from I just sent it. He just sent him. Ten minutes. Okay, so we just sent it. Okay, I'll make sure he has that. Oh, okay. he's wicked. Okay, now listen to me. This guy, he knows he's about to get evicted, okay? So he's in desperation mode. He thinks he's a famous celebrity, but really he's not. Okay? Mm. Don't let him, it's not worth it, okay? It's not worth him getting you, okay? I didn't he's describe not, him the way he says I described him. Listen. <laughs> No, and I, so he said that she said something racial about him and she says she didn't. Um, and I actually would believe her. I don't know this woman, I don't know him, but only because he was making things racial in the last uh, encounter he had with the police when it completely wasn't. So he's just an entitled former celebrity who thinks that he can muscle his way into getting what he wants, basically intimidating people. And he seems to be particularly more intimidating towards women than he is towards men. We put people all the time that's in the worst way. Obviously, he's in a bad way right now, okay? So whatever he's saying, don't worry about it. We're not worried about that, okay? All right. The only thing I'm worried about is make sure you gave him information that he needed. My supervisor, you know, my regional vice president. And that's all you got to do, okay? And I'll let him know that, that you did that. And I'll let him know that he needs to have no further contact. Hang on a second. Okay. And I'll let him know he needs to have no further contact with you, right? Okay. This is not what this is. Don't let him ruin your day. Don't let him ruin your moment, okay? okay? You're fine. We're going to take care of you. That's all we need to know, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much, sure. I have a friend who works in property management, actually two, but one in particular where, you know, it can get kind of tense with the residents at times. That's a tough job. I mean, any customer service, public service jobs where you're uh, out facing to the public and have to deal with customers and people that pay for things, it's difficult. But yeah, when it comes to where people re reside, uh, either because of money issues or maintenance issues or whatever the case may be. It's a very stressful job. So shame on him for reducing that woman to tears over something that has nothing to do with her if he didn't pay his rent. She's so rude and so nasty. And the only one coming off as rude and nasty is you. 
so I mean, so far, he's just been so negative this entire time we've seen interactions with him. He's been horrible. Oh, this is another angle on the video we saw earlier. is uh, the officer who's driving this car as you guys saw in the previous video looks like he's of Asian descent and he just called him Jackie Chan ew not one of the more pleasant characters we featured on this channel and she talks to everybody in the condescending mad people are moving left and right out of here she got issues she got her own little issues but it's purpose to business this is a personal I don't have to deal with her if it's not personal, then why are you talking about her having issues and other people not liking her? Just talk about whether or not you paid your rent. Ugh. Horrible. And she said she just sent it to you. She said should be good to go. Look at that dog. Shoot. Uh, is there a police report for this? Oh, well, the fact that he can't get his way. Because you know? trust me, when I went and talked to him, the first thing, first thing he said to me was Black Lives Matter. I'm like, here we go. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that over the past two weeks. So. <laughs> it's disrespectful because, you know, it's not just something, it's not a get out of jail free card. Um, it's an actual movement that um, stems from police brutality. How, what a slap uh, in the face to people who have actually suffered brutality at the hands of law enforcement when you have the privilege of being dealt with kindly and other people don't even get that, but you get to scream out Black Lives Matter because you didn't pay your rent or you haven't put insurance on your car. How ridiculous, um, gross, hated it. Let me know what you guys think um, in the comment section down below. I really wanna know what your comments are and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Now let's shout out our official Lawyer Chicklets, the channel members. Lee Morgan, Q Squared, Negligibly Negative, and the Crow, Jessica Holmes, Ben Blanchard, Gregory Varju, Bridget Diesel, Diesel, Daniel, Black Butterfly 31, Gina Bernardo, Jordan, Shelby Harris, Love to Ice Skate Lot, Kim Bachman, Marvin Lott, DMT, Jackie James, Risa Haley, Araceli Molina, All Indomani Insurance, Undefined Reality, Harleen Avent, Tamo Hawk, K Rab, Matt Bond, Sarah May, Miss Mecca, OK, Joel B, I, JPG, Hella Swanky, J Dan, Brandy Armstrong, Carol Henderson, Erica, Barbara Schultz, Salem Smith, Jennifer Ray Fuchek, Gritzy, Brian Samaro, Megs, JJ, A Rosy World, Gecko 2007, Sherry D, Maxiah, Smitten Kitten, Casey, Catherine Civics, Peach, Kat Gallagher, William Stewart, Azure, Jamie Wyatt, B, Sarah, Devil's Advocate, New Wave, Nancy, Diana, Eva Roberts, Jeff Ducky, Jack Whitestein, Catherine McManus, Alicia L, Raya L, Jan Beaton, Boston Girl 55, our first ever channel member, Carol Ann, it's Hammer Time, Iva, Amanda Page, Devlin, Islandfeld, Enchanted Wolf, Sandy, Savannah Street, Sam I Am, John Niwa, Alexandra May, Lynn2574, Edward Estrada, Christine Gregory, Regina W, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, Cindy Blake, Liz Pentelis, Van Ryan, Jess True Crime Fan, Ryan Blackhawk, Kiana Armstead, Tom Castro, B. Ryan S. Runway, Runway, Ginger Dandelion, Becky Gifford, Fafanella, Miss Opinionated, Arian Rod, Rosie's Two Cents, Anika Sim, and Cat Attack. Thank you, channel members.